this video, I'll be showing you the requirements that you need for domestic travel to Cebu City and to Cebu Province and how to get a free RT-PCR test in Cebu City. So this video will have specific chapters, so feel free to skip along to find the information that you need. If you are new to my channel, my name is RJ and I'm a Filipino-American vlogger who makes travel vlogs about the Philippines. So feel free to subscribe for Philippines travel ideas and news. Just a side note, I just recently went over to Cebu for around two weeks. So this is the most recent travel requirements to my knowledge as of July 21, 2021. So before my trip to Cebu, I found my information on Philippine Airlines. And when you go to their site and check out the travel requirements for Cebu province, it requires a medical certificate and a valid ID, that being passport or a driver's license. But from my experience, they didn't even look for my medical certificate, but I did get one just in case. Trays was not really implemented that much when I departed from Davao, but make sure you do that too, just in case. So first off, we entered Davao Airport, and as you can tell from this, the airport was pretty empty. And when you go to check in your bags, this is where they ask you if you are heading to Cebu province or to Cebu city. If you tell them that you're traveling to the city, you have to present a negative RT-PCR test. And if you tell them that you're going to Cebu province like I did, I didn't need to present an RT-PCR test. So the Philippines Airlines requirements also said that you needed to get an S-Pass. I did that just in case, but from my experience, you didn't really have to do that. I'll put the web address here just in case you want to. Just fill in the S-Pass, it takes less than five minutes. And if they try to find it, then at least you have your S-Pass. But you do need an S-Pass for places like Dumaguete or Siquijor, and more about that later on in the video. So from there, you just go towards your gate, and they give you a health locator form that's really quick to fill in, and they give that before your flight. So then, just take your flight, you arrive in Mactan Airport. But if you need to go to Cebu City, I highly suggest that you say you're going to the Cebu province, and then when you arrive at the airport, just book a taxi to Cebu City. So now, in this part, I will be talking about how to get the free RT-PCR test. So I say for the free RT-PCR test, give yourself around one to two weeks to book your appointment. Slots do fill in pretty quickly. This is the web address that you'll be booking your appointment in. So the free RT-PCR test will be at Vicente Soto Memorial Medical Center. Here's the address over here, and I'll also put it in the description. And with that, you have the option of walkthrough or drive-through. We chose the drive-through just because it's more convenient. So for me, I needed the RT-PCR test in Cebu City because it is required for Dumaguete and Siquijor. With Vicente Soto, you get your results within 24 hours, but don't count on that happening every time. I signed up for another appointment for my flight back to Davao, and I got the results after 48 hours, under 72 hours, but because of that, it made me miss my first flight back to Davao, and I had to book another flight. But if you don't want to go that route and want your test results under 24 hours, another option is booking an RT-PCR saliva test via Red Cross. Here's the link to that. This link will show you the different Red Cross locations that you can sign up for an appointment. So just pick a place where you want to do the test. They said that the results will be given within 24 hours. For me, I paid 2,093 pesos for that test, which is a lot cheaper than doing the regular RT-PCR test, which cost over like 3,000. This was just a quick video on the Cebu travel requirements and how to get your free RT-PCR test. For the next video, I'll be showing you the requirements that you need in order to get into Dumaguete and Siquijor. And we did that via the ferry. And then after those, I will start editing the travel vlogs and you can follow the itinerary that we did for those. So be on the lookout for that. I hope this helped you out. Hope you gained a lot of value from this. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and smash that thumbs up button. Don't worry, I got you and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.